ever wondered how you can print a vase on your Creality N6 using Cura or Prusa Slicer? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that here on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hello, I'm Zachary, and like mentioned in the intro, in this video, we are going to print vases using our Creality N6. Well, I got a little request from somebody who is having a Creality N6. And because of that, I'm going to make a special video if you are wondering how you can do that using Cura or Prusa Slicer. Well, I printed several vases and not only those, but also several others. And I do need to say it is looking very nice to see a 3D printer printing a vase on, on the printer. Well, I did also this little vase. I'm not sure which designer it is. I printed those both on the JG Maker Artist D Pro. I sliced this one and I got this one using mirror mode. And I do need to say it is looking very beautiful. Also from Clock Spring 3D, this beautiful Necromancer bottle. I always want to say vase because we are printing it in vase mode, but it is looking amazing. And if you want to go higher, yeah, feel free to do so. I do need to say, using a 0.4 millimeter nozzle it wasn't the best thing to do, but hey, it's looking great. And big too. I don't recommend using water in this thing. It's going to leak, I can tell you that. But here are my Cura and Prusa slicer settings. So for the basic settings in Cura, what do you have for your profile selected at this moment? Well, standard, I print at 0.2 millimeters because that works pretty nice for me. If you are going for 0.1 or 0.12, then that is also fine to do. For my PLA settings, I will use on the Creality Ender 6, I will use 210 degrees for the nozzle and for the bed temperature, 60 degrees Celsius. If you are used to different kind of temperatures for your nozzle and for your bed, then use that instead. But the other things are going to be crucial to get a nice vase out of your Creality Ender 6 or even any other 3D printer. Even though it is a Core XY 3D printer, spiral modes are doable on every kind of 3D printer. Go all the way down and look for your special mode as it is called in Cura. And there you will select spiral mode. If it is not visible, click on the gear and you will brought to the special menu where you can select this option to be visible in your standard settings. So for the next time, if you want to print a vase, then that would be very awesome. And you only need to check the spiral mode. Something else, you can go very fast in printing a vase on the Ender 6 because it is a Core XY 3D printer. But I, I recommend to start with a small vase in a lower setting, like 50 millimeters or 60 millimeters per second. After it is saved on the SD card, go ahead and have fun with printing your vase with Cura Slicer. And now Prusa Slicer. Go to print settings and in the top, you will find the settings for the spiral mode. As you can see, it is not checked yet. If you do that, you will get a little message a little warning to make sure that you are going to print in spiral mode. Check this and go back to the platter. Import your vase that you want to print. It can be a vase, it can, a, it can be a bottle, and then slice your model. Once the slicing is done, export it to your SD card and use the eject function within Prusa Slicer to safely take your SD card out of your laptop or your computer. So once the slicing is done, then take your SD card to your Creality N6 and start the normal printing. Well, you can look at it. It is looking gorgeous when a 3D printer is printing a vase. 
and it is going fast as well. But if you want to improve your print quality, just go through your settings and see if you can tweak a little bit, but leave the spiral mode still on because you are getting some weird prints. By the way, talking about weird prints, if you are going to print something else than a vase, make sure to uncheck the spiral mode in Cura or in Prusa Slicer because you don't want to get weird prints coming out of your Ender 6. This video is supported by these awesome Patreon supporters. Lawyer Moses, The Lightspeed and Fix Him Dude. Thank you for your awesome support. You can also support this channel by checking the Patreon link in the description of this video. If you are still watching this video, thank you, you are amazing. On the end card, there are some recommended videos worth watching. And while you are there, check out the merch in the merch store to support this channel as well. Please like this video, share this video with other people and on social media. And hey, let's make awesome things with 3D printing. Zachary, 3D Prints. Bye bye.